So there's all the materials you're going to need, um, two 4x4x8, four by four by 11 13 each, times two, $22.26, etc. box of screws, box of nails, um, you can see the total price for all the materials is $68.03, which is great. And then right here, this is what you want to have your lumber cut to, the different lengths. Um, some of them are approx. Um, those two ones that are approx, you're just cutting an eight foot board in half. So you're getting two roughly four foot pieces minus the saw blade. So everything else, you want to have it pretty much exact. All right, things you're going to need for this project. Optionally, you can use a level. Um, you can optionally cut your own wood, so you'll need a saw for that. Things you'll definitely need, you'll need a screw gun, a couple drill bits, one to pre-drill your screws. So you're gonna to need to ask somebody at the hardware store if you can't figure it on your own, what size of drill bit to use to drive the particular screws that you choose. And of course, in order to drive those screws, you need a bit, like I prefer the T25 um, star headed screws, and I usually get a box of those, which comes with the bit inside. Also, um, you'll want a pencil so you can mark with, something to measure with. I use a tape measure. In the picture, I show a carpenter's square because that could serve two purposes, to help you square things up and then also to measure with. So I definitely recommend having a square with you. And uh, that, that should be enough. Okay, in this video today, we're gonna show you how to make the toddler loft bed. This will hold a crib mattress in the top. It's a standard 51 by 27 and a half inch um, crib mattress. Say hi, Eli. And obviously it's a loft, so underneath you've got a porta crib. It's not going to be made up for a typical uh, crib, but for a porta crib, it, porta crib it's fine. And uh, I will also have two links in the description for two other videos that show this loft bed with <laughs> with a crib on the bottom or a uh, a second bunk on the bottom. So there'll be two videos for that. And this is the the toddler loft. So let's get started. Say bye. Okay, so here's all the lumber cut to size. The four 4x4s four by fours with posts, these slats that'll support the mattress, a cleat, etc. etc. We've got everything here. Uh, let's go ahead and put it together. Okay, so here you can see we're setting up the four posts. Just like to get them set up and secured in place, so I used that one back board, that 2x4. And I elevated it off the ground with another 2x4 two by four, two by four on end and then screw it into place. Just make sure that the ends are flush with the outside of the 4x4 post. And I'm just showing here what I'm, my next step, because it's hard to tell. And so I'm laying the, down the one 4x4 and securing uh, that 2x6, and I'm gonna secure it as well to the other one. And you'll see I mark it five inches down from the top of the post. You can do six or seven if you'd like. Um, just make sure you adjust the top rail as well. And I'm securing a second support on that far end just to help give it some structure. Here I'm showing the cleat already installed on uh, the 2x6 that's going to support the mattress. You'll see me install the 2x6 here in a second. And I'm just going to go ahead and start putting my screws in a little bit early. Makes it easier. Secure it five inches down as well. Once you've got the two end 2x6s two on, five inches down, you can just match these two up to it. Both of those 2x8s should have cleats tacked to them. I just installed the cleats, I just made them flush to the bottom and just put nails. Yeah, Zeke, that's awesome. I just put nails every three or four inches to hold those in place. I didn't use any glue. And then you see the slats going in just evenly spaced. There's five of those. I tacked them down with some short nails as well. And the top rails, um, just make them flush with the top of the 4x4 posts. Here I'm just going to go ahead and pre-drill um, some holes so that I can attach my ladder rungs. And I'll talk about this in a little bit as well. Uh, you'll see I used my square just to make sure I was drilling somewhat straight through. So I kind of attached the ladder rungs the hard way. I know you could just screw some, have some screws in on an angle but I decided to do it a little different and I messed up the first time. I don't know why, but then for some reason I decided to put those two holes horizontally, which that's not gonna work out well. So I decided to put them vertically. 
and uh, I just pre-drilled two holes um, with a drill bit that's large enough that the head of the screw can fit in there as well as my um, my bit that I was driving with and I put those two holes I pre-drilled them about two-thirds of the way through that 4x4 four four post and then sunk the two screws in right into the ladder rung. Um, I was going there I left it with just one ladder rung overnight thinking I'd add two more in the morning but my son decided that he could climb up without more ladder rungs so <laughs> I decided to add a block, uh, which you can see there, to kind of help him get yeah, that block right there. And it became kind of like a little rock climbing thing that he enjoys going up and down now. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that with just one ladder rung. But if you want to, you can add two more and give it a full, full ladder. Now is also a good time to mention that anytime that I secured a two by four, I used two screws, and any time I secured a 2x8, I used three screws, and um, I think that's pretty standard. space back there. You put some stuff under here if you want. Zeke likes to climb up this way. It's really fun for him. So this layout works well. There you go. So this is one of the three ways you could do this bunk bed. Okay. You're going to show them how you can get down by yourself? Yeah. Okay, let's see it. Cheese. 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 Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm excited to do the crib and the bunk versions of this loft bed. And uh, if you guys want to see more awesome videos on how to make cheap um, stuff for your kids subscribe and I'll, I'll definitely bring you some more <laughs> can you say bye Zeke bye say see you later yeah